Good morning traders. Welcome to Wednesday the 10th of February morning update from Phoenix Blue. Um, let me first of all apologize for the late upload. Uh, this is uh, the UK's gloomy weather taking its toll on our traders. <clears throat> so we've got a bit of a man flu coming down here, but we will do our best to get these updates to you on time every morning. So apologies for the late upload today. Um, well, February continues its wild west in the markets. Uh, we had a significant day yesterday yet again. Um, and all I can say is it's fantastic that we've got volatility in the Forex market. It's a good time to be potentially making money. However, it's very erratic. So at Phoenix Blue, I think it's time to sit on the sidelines again. Remember, it's all about capital preservation. Keeping hold of your money is the hardest part. Once you learn how to keep hold of your money, then making money just is a byproduct of knowing when to be in the market and knowing when to stay out of the market. It's okay to take a few hits and I keep explaining this and we've had some wonderful we've had some wonderful strikes so far this year <clears throat> in uh getting some fantastic returns. But just recently we've actually taken quite a few hits and it's never nice to take a few hits. Uh we just need to uh through be be cautious now. Be cautious now because yes we do have a crazy day ahead. Um Yes, Janet Yellen is testifying to the market, and I expect some wild, wild swings in the market. Will she have have the Fed less lost confidence in the market? Have the has the market lost confidence in the Fed? I should say. Um, will they? Won't they raise rates uh, in March, or is it going to be pushed back to June? Has global growth affecting everyone's decision now? Every time a a central banker speaks we're getting huge swings in the market so this is a it's a time to be cautious but also it could present us with some fantastic opportunities so like i say remember we've got to stay disciplined we've got to stay focused we've got to stick to our game plan so right now we've got some trades that we've got sat in the sidelines waiting in the commodity market on cocoa and sugar however the forex market i do believe we're going to see some opportunities some very very good opportunities in the coming week um but i think this is probably this next two days three days is probably a time to sit on the sidelines if you are wanting to trade um do so at your own risk and do it at reduced risk yeah because remember i do highlight that you should never have a day that you can't stomach i.e. you should never be able to you should never be exposed in the market in a in a way that at the end of that day if it goes wrong you feel sick okay always think about how you want to be at the end of the at the end of the day if it does go against you okay so let's have a look what news we've got coming out today obviously we've got the big news uh yellen testifying at 3 p.m. uk time so in just under 5 hours we've also got the crude oil stocks um, what's going to be happening there? Is supply increasing? Is it decreasing? Well, we can see that the previous uh, amount was at, was that 7.792 million. They're expecting half of those supplies to be in stock. So anything greater than that, you would expect to see maybe an, a further reduction in oil price. So it doesn't always work that way with oil. Uh, the other major note, we've got Mr. Williams speaking uh, from the FOMC, so that should have another impact on the dollar. So, again today, I mean, this is the main one, Yellen, what's going to happen? Well, let's have a look at, first of all, let's see what happened on Asian session, and then we're going to come to the dollar index, so you can see what we're talking about. So, here we're looking at the Nikkei, and what I've highlighted here on a weekly chart for you is, we can see this purple box which is it's like a void between the lowest low over here and the highest high here so we can see a, a significant resistance zone here that it was banging its head on it gapped up and then only to come down to retest a specific area and then it tested again now we can see this weekly trend line as well which was violated this week now i'm just going to drop this down to a daily chart so we can actually see what we're looking at so this this area here, this horizontal, is the, the the level we highlighted a few weeks ago. We got the negative interest rates, big gap up, huge move up, only to see price collapse through the zone, then close below. Yesterday's candle um, 
closed below the trend line and today we've had a further surge down so how can we trade this as traders well I'm just going to zoom in so what we're looking for is a rally back up into the resistance area and then we'll look to sell it off so if I go back to the weekly chart so you can see what that looks like we'll be looking at this kind of action here some kind of retracement into here maybe even in, up to the horizontal and then we'll be looking for it to sell off again we could look at initial targets of around 14,500 um, and if we are going to get a serious correction maybe 12,500 these are all areas that we're going to have to watch but we can see obviously the the key thing is how is this week going to close is it going to close below the trend line or is it going to stay uh, is it going to reject the trend line and stay above it okay so we've got always wait for the pullback as well so that's the Nikkei now the dollar index this is more of more importance to me if we're trading the FX market so the red red rectangles they highlight major support and resistance zones uh, supply and demand zones this is when our FOMC member spoke last week and absolutely blew through our trend line here and came all the way down to the key area of 9650 it did find support here and we did see a brief rally from it so we were anticipating that maybe the dollar strength was going to kick back in only then to see a big reversal on Monday and if we look at this you see it's a key reversal day it took out the high came and down closed below the low and then Tuesday we got a clear close and break below 96.50 and below the trend line so if it was a normal trading day as we spoke about last week I'd be looking for this market to come back up into 96.50 and then to sell off but obviously we don't know what's going to happen with the news we could quite easily get and Yellen could say she's going to raise rates three more times this year and um, we could get a huge break above 96.50 and, and a close above and if that was the case then I'd wait for a pull back into 96.50 to go along again however right now my bias having looking at this chart would be to say well I'd be looking at it to come back into 96.50 and then sell off but that would be a little bit of gambling because we know we've got some major news announcements this week so this is why I'm cautious and sitting on the sidelines and saying that maybe we want to be looking at alternative markets until we, the dust settles here um, we've got Japanese yen so this will correlate quite nicely with uh, the Nikkei um, we can see the huge sell-off here this is the weekly chart now the key area for me here is 15.55-15.80 if we get a weekly close below here then I could see that the dollar yen is going to come all the way down to this trend line here before we might get a corrective spell so that could mean anything around to 112s 113s <coughs> also we potentially be looking at the Bank of Japan stepping in again and doing some further easing so that's the Bank of Japan or the Japanese yen and the Nikkei um, we can see that they're, they're in free fall at the minute we've got safe, safe haven buying other safe haven we've got is gold now I actually exited all my uh, gold position yesterday at 1196 uh, we went long at 10.75 you can go back to all our videos we called this before it happened we posted it on Instagram uh, if you don't follow us on Instagram please do for our live updates this is um, Phoenix Blue Trading our next sort of area of interest on gold will be uh, around the 11.50 area but also 11.25 we're looking for longs in either 11.50 11.25 we do see a correction in gold coming now before we get a potential break of this long-term weekly channel Canadian dollar um, we're expecting or maybe not expecting but I'll be looking for longs in and around the 137s to 136.50s area 136.25 to 137 so somewhere in this little red zone here where the trend line correlates with our demand zone I'll be looking for longs dollar CAD okay so in terms of charts guys in fact let me just show you one more chart while we're at it I'm gonna bring in uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's have a look at Coco see what's happening here so Coco 
we've got weekly chart we've got a commitment of traders extreme right now we're looking to go long above the previous week's high with stops below here and this is a target of just over three to one okay so this is uh, one of our trades that we're looking at in terms of staying away from FX market until the dust settles potentially next week okay and the other market that we're looking at in terms of uh, Forex uh, in terms of Forex in terms of commodities is sugar and we've got our nice bullish move back up into resistance we can see that clearly here and now we're short on the low of yesterday's low and we're looking to target back down here so this is an add-in position we went short from over here stops are now somewhere around here just above the 1380 I think it is second position as an add-in and we're looking to run this down here as soon as we break through these lows we will be alter we will be moving our stops to protect profit and protect capital okay guys uh, that's it from the morning update so if you do have any questions please email info at phoenixblue.co.uk Instagram as I've said is phoenixblue trading um, our website phoenixblue.co.uk will be coming soon if you are interested in learning our skills how we look at fundamentals how we look at bringing in the technicals and fundamentals together trading with the commitment of traders report or just any other sort of general questions about trading what kind of person do you need to be how disciplined what sort of account size do you need to start trading please email in we look forward to working with you over a long period of time and if you do like your, our content at Phoenix Blue please hit the subscribe button and click like uh, thank you for listening in again today traders and we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning